Hey what's up guys hope you are doing great Infinix has been launching their 12 series phone recently they already launched a 12 turbo with a decent spec and price also they tied up with Marvel and released Doctor Strange edition i believe all the 12 series are going to be in Doctor Strange edition now they are launching two more phones the one is Note 12 and the other one is Note 12 Pro in this video let's see unbox and quick review of Infinix Note 12 Pro before getting further we recently started uploading more content on this channel for you guys it would be really great if you show us your support by watching this video without skipping also hit that like and subscribe subscribe button let's get into the video first let's unbox the phone this is the box of infinix note 12 pro 5g let's remove it from the cover on the front it's mentioned infinix note 12 pro 5g down they mentioned marvel studio doctor strange multiverse of madness on the back spec details and pricing are mentioned on the bottom they provide imei number details let's cut the seal and open the box let's take the phone and remove it from the cover remove the back sticker let's turn on the phone other than that on the box you will get 33 watts charging adapter one type c cable one sim ejector tool and some infinix marvel stickers some booklets x club card and one tpu case first let's talk about the design the infinix note 12 pro and the 12 turbo have the same design on the back both have wave style stripe and glowing finish we can't say it's a worst design it looks decent also the phone comes on two color variant the one we have is forest black and the one more variant is snowfall white the phone weighs overall 187 gram and the thickness is 7.9 mm the phone is not that heavy on the hand when it comes to bezels the phone has slightly bigger bezels than the normal phone on this price range especially on the bottom nowadays most of the phones comes with punch hole display but this phone still comes with water notch that do the notch is bigger than usual other than that there is no big issue with the design also for one hand usage the phone feels fine next let's talk about the display the phone comes with 6.7 inch full hd plus amla display with 60 hertz refresh rate nowadays even phones under 15000 comes with 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate display but infinix launched this phone only with 60 hertz refresh rate we felt it it's a huge negative for the price other than that since it's amla display the display quality is really good and the viewing angle is also great When it comes to protection the phone comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and it has 700 nits of peak brightness both on the indoor and outdoor usage the display looks clear and visible overall when we talk about the display it's a good display but only with 60 hertz refresh rate next on the left we have a sim card slot we can fit two sim card and one sd card the secondary noise cancellation mic on the top is also missing on this phone even phones under 10000 have this basic feature but infinix note 12 pro doesn't on the bottom we have one 3.5 mm audio jack mic type c port and one speaker grill when we talk about the speaker the phone has stereo speaker earphone doubles as a secondary speaker the output is loud and clear on the right we have volume rocker keys and power button the fingerprint scanner is also integrated with the power button it's fast and accurate plus the phone have face unlock option it is also fast and accurate when we talk about the software the phone comes on android 12 on top of xos version 10.6 the last security update was on april the phone have lots of xos special features like multi window smart panel show Social Turbo, Game Mode, X Clown, Video Assistants, etc. Plus default, it comes with few bloatwares, but you can uninstall it. When we talk about battery and charging, the phone comes with 5000 mAh battery. Also, you'll get 33 watts fast charging adapter on the box. On a normal usage, you'll get more than one and a half day of battery life. Next, let's talk about the camera. The phone comes with 16 megapixel selfie camera on the front. On the rear, we have a triple camera setup: 108 megapixel primary with aperture 1.75 and 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth sensor. On normal it will take 16 megapixel photo if you enable 108 megapixel option then you can take higher resolution photos the output quality is decent when we talk about video both front and back you can record max up to 2k but only up to 30 fps even at 1080p also you can record max at 30 fps in this phone also infinix added their good future front flash for selfie camera when we talk about the performance the phone comes with mediatek dimensity 810 processor it's a decent processor performs good on both day to day tasks and mild gaming when we talk about ram and storage the phone comes with lpddr4x ram and usf 2.2 storage the phone have only one variant 8128 8 GB also you'll get extended ram option you can extend up to 2 GB 3 GB or 5 GB when we talk about the pros and cons the pros are phone have amoled display 108 megapixel camera decent battery life and 33 watts fast charging support the cons are only 60 hertz display no ultra wide camera also there is no secondary noise cancellation mic when we talk about the price the 8128 GB variant is priced for 18 1000 for the price cons are more on this phone if you spend 1000 or 2000 more you can buy better phone for this budget if you want same phone slightly on the lesser price note 12 is available but note 12 comes with only 6 gb ram and 50 megapixel camera soon i'm going to make best phone under 20000 please look forward to that hope you find today's video useful for you see you on the next video until then this is karthik signing off please do like share and subscribe to our channel